Hello guys, this is Amel uh, one more time. Uh, I'm so excited today because I'm going to show you how to actually uh, make arrays and if you don't know what an array is, well, uh, just think of an array as a collection, uh, a collection of, of data or a data structure kind of. So um, if you know about random access memory, well, random access memory is the primary memory of your computer and an array and, and random access memory are very similar because random access memory uh, is, is divided into blocks and those blocks are next to each other like they are contiguous, contiguous blocks of memory so an array is in, is in random access memory so you have like several values stored in random access memory and those values are stored uh, each one next to the other one so next to each other so uh, arrays are very useful in computer programming so I'm gonna show you how to make arrays today and how to manipulate arrays so go to file new and then um, save it as usual uh, I'm gonna name it arrays save and then we have two sections that data that text and first of all I'm gonna make an array so to make an array First, give it a name, my array, colon, uh, it needs the colon there. Then the, the, you need to allocate space in random access memory. So you say that space. And finally, how many numbers do you want to store? So if you are working with integers, remember that an integer is four bytes. So um, you need to allocate, you need to allocate uh, four bytes. Uh, I mean uh, for one integer but if you want to store three integers then you have to multiply um, three because three integers times four bytes because every integer needs four bytes so if I want to store three integers I need to say okay I need 12 bytes 12 bytes for three integers because three times four is 12 and then what I can do Let's say that I want to store uh, some values, so I can say uh, add immediate dollar sign s zero dollar sign zero comma four and add immediate dollar sign s one dollar sign zero comma ten and add immediate dollar sign s two comma dollar sign zero comma twelve. So 4 is going to be in S0, 10 is going to be in S1, and 12 is stored in S2. So uh, how do we, right now, you know, these, these numbers right here, they are in the processor. They are in the registers. So how do we store these numbers uh, in random access memory? Uh, well, we have to use an instruction, and the instruction is called store word. So this is going to store the values in random access memory. But we also need an index. So we have to make an index. And I will explain you what the index is. It's like an offset. You can say offset or index. So I'm going to use um, dollar sign T0 for my index. So I'm going to say I'm going to clear T0 to 0. Add immediate dollar sign T0 dollar sign 0 comma 0 so just clearing T0 and now I want to store 4 in the first location in the array so I'm gonna say store word so dollar sign is 0 because it has 4 I want to store it in my array at location well you know that T0 is the index and right now location 0 so location 0 is the first position Dollar sign T0. Okay, then I want to store uh, the value 10 in the second position in my array. But wait a second. I need to uh, update the index because now the index is for the first position, but I want to uh, uh, update the, the offset to the second position. So just add, add 4 to it because the distance is 4. So if you add 4 to 0, you're going to be at the, four posi at, at the second position. So 
add immediate dollar sign t0 dollar sign t0 comma 4 so now you can store the word store word dollar sign s0 i mean s1 the value in s1 which is 10 store in my array at the second position dollar sign t0 and we have to do the same thing for number 12 because we are at the second position now we want to update the index or the offset so we have to add four more to t0 dollar sign t0 comma 4 and finally we can we can say okay store the value store word the value in dollar sign s2 store that value in in access, in random access memory in my array at, at the third location at location number three and this right here this is uh this is working right now all the values uh are in random access memory so uh let's just run it assemble and we have a little error and it's just that i forgot the a right here so let me clear this save wrong assemble okay so yeah nothing happened here because i didn't do anything i i, I mean i just the only thing i did was just to store the values in random access memory i didn't print it out to the screen but let's say that i want to retrieve the value from random access memory how can i do that okay let's say that i want to retrieve the first the first value in my array so Remember, the first value is at what position? Position 0. So in order to retrieve it, I use an instruction called load word. And load word is going to get the value at the location that you specified in random access memory. So load word, it needs a destination register where you want to put the value. So I'm going to put it in the sign T6. And then my array, the sign 0. And now, my value is right here in T6. So just to see the value, I'm going to do the following. Load immediate dollar sign V0, comma 1. Load, um, and then I say add immediate dollar sign A0, dollar sign T6, comma 0. And then I just Cisco. So now we're going to see the value displayed. So save, wrong, assemble and execute voila number four is displayed so one more time uh, you can see right here the number four was at index zero and i just stored that in the first location in the array and i also stored the other numbers right after it in the other locations but then i just use load word to retrieve the value and finally i just display the value to the screen so I loaded the value to the register to zero from random access memory and I display the value and it's right here. So thank you for watching. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you something new and amazing. So stay tuned and see you next time. Thank you.